and welcome back to my channel. I've just sat down and realized that I uploaded 99 travel videos on my YouTube channel this year. 99 videos. So I really want to make it around 100 videos before the end of 2020 and I thought that I would make one last video about my favorite place that I visited this year which is of course Mexico. <laughs> video I'm going to talk about my top nine places to visit in the Yucatan Peninsula that are not Cancun and Playa del Carmen because I think when everyone thinks of the Yucatan Peninsula at first they think of Cancun and Playa del Carmen so for this video I'm going to share with you some of the more unknown places some of the more secret places the more unique places and just places that you might have heard of but have not yet visited so let's get started with the top nine places to visit in the Yucatan Peninsula. Number one is Lake Bacalar, also known as the Lagoon of Seven Colors, which is an inland lagoon located in the very south of the state of Quintana Roo, very close to the border with Belize and about three hours south of Tulum. Some people refer to it as the Maldives of Mexico, but I honestly don't even think it needs that comparison. When you go to Lake Bacalar, you will realize it is one of the most beautiful places you will ever visit in the world. So book into one of the cute lakeside hotels, spend your days lounging in the colorful hammocks located in the water inside of the lagoon, jump off the many jumping platforms, take a boat trip around the lake and go to the pirate channel, or just spend your days snorkeling and eating ceviche. Number two is Isla Cozumel. So Cozumel Island, which is by far one of my favorite places in Mexico. In fact, I love Cozumel so much that I have been back there, I think four or five times. I keep going back again and again. And I honestly think it has some of the best beaches in all of Mexico. So Cozumel is pretty amazing, both above the water and under the water. A lot of people go there to scuba dive. And of course there is a lot of underwater life and it is an incredible place to go scuba diving. But even if you don't scuba dive and if you don't snorkel Cozumel is still a beautiful island you can actually rent a convertible jeep like a convertible colorful red jeep or a VW Beetle car that also has no roof and you can drive the whole way around the island stopping off at cute little beach bars sort of pristine untouched beaches and you're also going to see some incredible wildlife so be sure to put Cozumel on your Yucatan Peninsula bucket list it really is one of the most beautiful beautiful places you will visit in all of Mexico. Another unique place to visit in the Yucatan Peninsula is Las Colorada's Pink Lakes. These are extremely unique places to visit. The lakes are an insanely bright pink and one of the best things to do if you have a drone is to drive there and fly your drone over the pink lakes comparing the crazy pink water to the beautiful blue water of Rio Lagartos nearby. Now while you are in this area I also recommend going to Rio Lagartos which is one of the kind of sleepiest fishing villages you will find in the Yucatan Peninsula and is also an amazing place to do a boat trip and to go bird watching. This is one of the best places in all of the Yucatan Peninsula Peninsula to go bird watching and it is pretty famous with bird lovers around the world. Okay, number five is Expuja Beach, which is a really quiet and very, very beautiful beach, um, quite near to Acumel, which is a turtle snorkeling paradise, and about 45 minutes north of Tulum or 30 minutes south of Playa del Carmen. So if you want to escape the busy beaches of Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum, I really recommend going to Expuja Beach instead. There are some really cute little beach bars along the beach. The sand is like really, really Really white and super fine and of course the water is some of the cleanest and clearest along the Riviera Maya so one of the quietest and most beautiful beaches in this area and way less people than in Cancun, Playa del Carmen or Tulum really recommend checking into Serenity Eco Glamping which is where I stayed where you can stay in this amazing tent but it has a bed inside so you're sort of glamping you're really close to one of the nicest beaches in Mexico and you're also getting a luxury experience. 
Okay, number six on my list of top places to visit in the Yucatan Peninsula is Isla Mujeres. My weekend in Isla Mujeres with my friend Chocoloco was one of the most fun weekends I had while visiting that area of Mexico. We absolutely loved getting the ferry over, we checked into Selena Hostel while we were there and one of my favourite things to do there was to rent a scooter and drive the whole way to the other end of the island up to Punta Sur, which is the far southern tip of the island. There's a lighthouse there, there is a small sort of national park and again that water in Isla Mujeres is sort of like Cancun where it is this crazy blue that makes your eyes just pop out of your head and makes you say again and again and again is this for real? Is this for real? So if you want to go to Isla Mujeres get the ferry across, stay for a few nights, don't just do a day trip and do some snorkeling, rent a scooter, drive around the island and of course check out the really cute shops and restaurants in the centre of town. Number seven on my list is Isla Holbosch. So Isla Holbosch is very different to Cozumel where you're going to drive around the island and that could take, you know, an hour or two. And it's very different to Isla Mujeres where you're gonna get a scooter or a golf cart. Isla Holbosch is so small that really you can actually walk everywhere. But if you don't wanna walk, you can actually take a golf buggy to get around. So there's no cars on the island, all the roads are made of sand, and it has a really sleepy backpacker vibe. You're gonna find a lot of backpackers here, you're gonna find a lot of cute beach bars, hammocks all the way along the beach, and Isla, and Isla Halbach also happens to be one of the best places in Mexico to see flamingos. So you can actually do a boat trip to go out to the reserves, either to the north or to the south, where you're gonna see hundreds of these magical pink birds in the wild. It's a once in a lifetime experience and I recommend it to everyone. If you are in Isla Halbach from June to September, similar time if you are in Isla Mujeres, you can also go swimming with whale sharks. These are some of the largest, but like safest, most friendliest animals you're gonna find in the ocean. And you can actually go snorkeling alongside them between June and September. One of the most incredible experiences of my life and something that I will never forget. Okay, number eight on my list is visiting Coba Ruins. Now, while Chichen Itza is obviously the most famous archaeological site in this part of Mexico and probably one of the most famous in all of Mexico, um, and a lot of people that are visiting the Yucatan Peninsula will also probably visit the ruins in Tulum, because a lot of people go to Tulum, I actually really liked the ruins in Coba. They have just as much history, just as much culture, but way less tourists and it's much more peaceful to walk around and explore, listening to everything that the guide is telling you and explaining about this ancient city that used to have 50,000 people living in, living in it and also was inhabited as far back as the first century. So pretty cool place to visit and I highly recommend it as either a day trip from Cancun or Playa del Carmen or Tulum as it's only about an hour drive. Okay, last place on my list is the cenotes in Tulum. I know Tulum is no longer this sleepy fishing village, undiscovered, you know, secret place that it used to be a few years ago. There's a lot of massive hotels along the hotel zone, the beach is really busy, and the restaurants are quite expensive. But I still think that Tulum should be on your list of places to visit, as it is a very beautiful place, and I especially love all of the cenotes to be found around town, mainly north of the central. So some of my favorite cenotes would be cenote carwash if you want to go scuba diving and cenote calavera and cenote and grand cenote if you want to like take photographs and you want to swim with baby turtles Whew. I probably talked very fast. I hope you guys could understand me. I really hope you enjoyed this video about my top nine places to visit in the Yucatan Peninsula. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below for more travel videos. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in 2021.